Hey, what's up guys, the Actioner here with an unboxing and look at the iRig. Now what the iRig does is uh, allows you to use your guitar with a iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad, pretty much any Apple device uh, that has access to the App Store and you can use it as an amplifier. Um, now you will be able to use your electric guitar and you will be able to use your bass guitar with this. So here's the box. Pretty much uh, just your basic information. So let's get right to it. Open up the sticker on the side. Both sides. And yeah, you can see it looks like it's on this cardboard tray right here. And there's the iRig itself, and there's nothing else in the box. On the front of the box, you see a picture of it looks like an iPhone 3G, and uh, just shows you how how it'll work. And a small little uh, diagram of the iRig itself, and on the back, you just have your information, and you have some screenshots of the app you have to use. So uh, let's get to the iRig. So let's open up the side flap here. Well, actually, it looks like you just pull it out. So here's the iRig. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, all plastic with the uh, rubber cord uh, that's where you insert your amplifier cord and on the other side you have your headphone input so you can listen uh, to your guitar playing through headphones you can also listen through the iPad speakers and that is where you plug it into your iPad uh, very small uh, light unit um, you won't need to have a very long cord this cord is perfectly fine and uh, you should be per perfectly fine with this uh, with this device. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's it's perfect sized. So let's see what else is in the box. And yeah, it looks like you have some manuals, some pamphlets, and that's about it. So first, it looks like you have uh, just some pamphlet with uh, some advertisements of what else uh, the company has to offer. Um, while I was buying this at the store, I saw a few other things they had, like similar to the iRig, except I, you can use a microphone instead, or even a keyboard. So uh, yeah, I guess if you're interested in uh, different instruments, you can go check it out, but this is just for the guitar. So here's also code. Uh, it's a special code that will allow you to, I, I think it'll give you some extra features. Um, it's I looked it up, It's you don't get anything too big, it's just some extra features. And uh, here you just have uh, the instruction guide. Uh, it comes in many different languages. So uh, wherever you're from, you should be good to go. All right, so here's how you want to set it up. You want to take your iRig, you want to take your, uh, you want to take your uh, patch cord, you want to plug it into the one end of the iRig. And uh, so you have your other patch cord ready to plug into your guitar. So we have the guitar right here. It's a Epiphone SG. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. So we'll first just plug it into your uh, input right there. You have that done. Now what you want to do is take your iRig itself and you want to plug it into the headphone port into your i, I device. So iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, doesn't matter. So we just plug that in right there. And if you want to listen through headphones, you can plug the headphones in to the iRig. Or if you want to listen to the speakers, you can just listen through the speakers. And that is about it right there. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is the iRig. And uh, that is the installation. Okay, so now we have the app itself we're going to be looking at. So the app is called Amplitude Free for the iPad. Now the free version, uh, it pretty much just works as just a regular amp. You have your regular presets, you have a few pedals it gives you, but you also notice there's a 1999 version, and the 1999 version includes all the pedals and stuff. So uh, you could pay an extra 20 bucks to get all the pedals. So here's the uh, app itself. Uh, you'll see on the bottom you see it looks just like a regular amp you can control pitch tone bass all that stuff um, 
You also, it gives you two noise filters. I only have one up at the moment, but it gives you two noise filter and two delay pedals. So you can fool around with that. It has a ton of presets. Um, I did have a little bit of problem recording the uh, guitar sound itself, but I can assure you that it sounds pretty much just like a regular amp. Um, you will get a bit of static, so you will have to use your noise filter to kill the static. But uh, other than that, it sounds sounds pretty decent. Obviously, it's not a $200 amp, so you're not going to get very loud sounds, but it will do the trick if you're looking to just play quietly. Um, it's it's a good it's a good option if you if you only want to spend around thirty dollars and you already have an iDevice. device. I I'd say this works best on the iPad. Um, you could also use the iPad speakers. So remember, those don't go very loud, but it's okay for recreational use. So in this app itself. Yeah, you're gonna have different presets and tools you can have. It actually has a metronome and a tuner, uh, yeah, a tuner built in, so you can tune your guitar or your bass. Um, you do have a little drum beat you can set up, so you can have different drum beats. You can record uh, your own uh, your own uh, guitar actually, and uh, listen to it later with the drum beats in it and everything. So I think that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, section to this app, and. Uh, I'm not sure, looks like an advertisement or something, but yeah, you can go into the settings. You can obviously, if you don't feel like buying the uh, 1999 app for all the pedals, you can buy your separate pedals from the uh, store itself. You can buy, uh, I think they're around 199 299 each if you want like different, they have like heavy metal pedals and stuff and all that. Um, they also have a different app free it's called like the fender app and you might have saw it earlier in the video it's free uh, it gives you a like a fender a fender amp so you have a little bit different noises and sounds but uh yeah overall that's the app and uh yeah here's the here's the fender uh, application it's, it's pretty much the same thing except it's, it gives you the fender presets so overall not bad uh, i'd say when i paid i got it on sale for 20 dollars uh, i think regular it might be it might be 40 or 30 I, I would, for, for, I'd recommend you, you wait till it goes on sale. Um, but it's usually on sale a lot. You can get this anywhere, Best Buy or wherever. So uh, yeah, that's the app itself. I definitely give it a 4 out of 5 or 4.5 out of 5 because it does the job. Alright guys, see you next time.